What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Special Edition Mods Weekly. This is basically a series where I show you guys some of the coolest or just most interesting mods to come out for Skyrim each and every week. We are now reaching the point where some of the mod releases are starting to slow down. You're still getting a lot of new mod releases, but it's not the massive thousand a week that we were before. We also actually did have kind of a mod purge this week. A bunch of mods got hidden from Bethesda.net. I think almost a thousand in total. Fortunately, it seems like that's been resolved, although no public word from Bethesda just yet. Regardless, I think this is pretty good the slowing down of mods allows you to kind of see what good mods are coming out as they're coming out i feel like before you were getting so many mods but that meant a lot of mods were getting overlooked or just kind of meaning a lot of people were missing mods that had some real quality behind them but with all that being said if you do enjoy i encourage you to consider subscribing and let's get right into it so the first mod I do want to show you is the Griffin Elven Armor. Basically, this is going to add in what I think is actually a pretty cool and interesting looking armor. I did just include this in my 5 cool mod series, but I thought the quality was definitely there, so I did want to put it in Mods Weekly. It also does include kind of a Butcher, which is going to be that melee weapon, as well as an Elven Shield, although I don't think the quality is as high on those two items. I would actually almost prefer to use some other items. I think the armor itself just looks very cool, and it has a very royal or knightly feel. Obviously, it does fit into Skyrim very well. It just kind of feels like a a heavy plate armor that maybe an elf would use or some other elf high guard or something like that all around again a very high quality mod i'm actually kind of surprised by the texture quality on this one it's very clear that a lot of hard work went into it and i definitely think it's worth a download so up next, we do have Auto Unequip Shield to Back. So it's going to be a huge quality of life mod for PC users. Basically, what this mod is going to do is when you holster your sword, or rather sheath your sword, now your shield will actually get placed on your back. That's all the mod does, but I just think it looks very cool. Then when you take your sword back out, your shield will go back on your arm like normally. Previously, you were kind of just running around with a shield on your arm, and I thought it looked kind of silly, and I think a lot of people just didn't like that. Unfortunately, this mod doesn't actually work with modded shields. So if you're using an armor mod such as the Griffin Armor, that adds in a shield your shield will actually just disappear which i feel like is almost a better trade-off but it won't appear on your back which again is a little bit unfortunate but regardless at least it's something so up next, we have another really high quality and very cool armor mod. The Dragon Carved Armor Set is going to add in a brand new kind of dragon themed armor. It is at the end of the day kind of just a normal plate armor, but all around it you have little dragon insignia, and especially the helmet just has a very dragon look to it. It basically looks like there's a dragon head on your head. This armor is extremely high quality, again like the Griffin Armor. I just think it's a very cool armor mod. I really like these plate armors. I think they just look very cool, and especially like putting them on different followers. The mod also includes a shield and a great sword and a regular sword so you do have a lot of options with it all this is pretty well balanced you're not going to be like a god king when using this armor you're definitely going to have to upgrade it if you want to feel that way and all around i think it's just a good addition to the game so up next we do have inigo this is like the follower mod come to kill me at the last have you thank the gods i can bear the guilt no longer this mod had like over 3 million downloads for the original Skyrim, and basically now it has been ported to Skyrim Special Edition. It is a fully voiced character with some back quests. The voicing on this is extremely well done. It just fits the character really well, and all around it is just kind of a, an extremely polished companion mod. He does have the whole nine yards where you could do a quest for him and go get some of his backstory or do some different perks. You actually have to do kind of, I guess, a mini quest to get him, which is pretty interesting and cool. He does come with his own custom weapon and bow. And all around, if you're looking for a good quality follower mod, that wasn't kind of like a slutty girl or something like this this is going to be the one you want to download he's competent fully voiced and all around has a nice backstory behind him Okay, so this mod is like a must download. The first few seconds of this video is going to be the old interface, but after you install 60 FPS interface, it'll actually look a little bit more like this. Hopefully this video captures what a difference this actually makes, but previously the Skyrim interface was locked to 30 FPS. After installing this mod, it'll be boosted up to 60 FPS. And to put it simply, it makes a huge difference. I could instantly tell, and honestly, I got extreme satisfaction after installing this mod from actually hitting tab and opening up the menu. Everything just looks so much smoother, and again, honestly, this is just one of those mods you're going to want to download and keep on your game forever. After uninstalling this and going back to the old 30 FPS, it actually kind of bothered me and hurt my eyes a little bit, which I know it might sound like I'm exaggerating, but it is just that much smoother with the 60 FPS. So last but not least, we have Faction Crossbows. So this is basically a mod that's going to add in different crossbows with kind of different stories for each and every one of the different factions in the game. Well, I guess maybe not each and every one, but all the major ones at the very least. So I'm not going to show you all the different crossbows in this mod because I actually really like the backstory behind them again. So I'll only be showing you the Stormcloak one. For example, the simple backstory behind this is basically that as the Stormcloak soldiers were starting to suffer a ton of losses, they started picking up crossbows off of their fallen Imperial enemies. Ulfric Stormcloak became furious with 
this. So then he did order his blacksmiths to start creating some of these on their own. And thus the Stormcloak crossbow is born. It also comes with some custom bolts and all that. All around, it's a very high quality mod. All the crossbows do look very good for all the different factions. Definitely worth the download, especially if you're particularly subscribed to one of the factions in the game. That's going to pretty much wrap it up for this week of Skyrim Special Edition Mods Weekly. Hopefully you found this video entertaining or informative in some way. Hopefully you guys are going to go download some of these mods. As always, there'll be links in the description down below to everything I do talk about. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you all next time. Later!